In this video I will explain why you need to update your Arduino Pro Mini bootloader. Also I will show you how to do it easily using another Arduino board. So let's talk first why you need to update bootloader. If you're using watchdog timer reset in your code for Pro Mini, it simply won't work because all Pro Mini bootloaders have a bug in it. And because this board is officially retired, no one bothered to fix this issue. At least I wasn't able to find Pro Mini bootloader with, without such a bug. Uh, solution is very simple. You just need to update your Pro Mini board with Uno bootloader. Let's have a quick look what happens with Pro Mini when Watchdog Timer Reset is triggered. I have done a little test code to trigger a set by watchdog timer. Uh, watchdog timer is set to 2 seconds in this example code and I included 3 second delay in my code. This delay is initiated once a button is pressed. So that means time between watchdog timer resets will exceed 2 seconds. So this will trigger microcontroller reset. Let's press the button and see what happens. As you can see, watchdog time uh, tried to reset micro microprocessor, uh, but now it's stuck in boot mode. LED is flashing. Uh, that means it keeps resetting itself without going into main program. And it doesn't matter how long we will wait, it won't stop doing this. So now I will show you how to do a bootloader update. Uh, you will need another Arduino board. In my case, this is another Pro Mini board. Uh, we need to prepare this board so we can use it as a programmer for a second board. Uh, you have to connect your board to USB TTL converter. Uh, then open your Arduino software. Press File, go to Examples, choose Arduino ISP. Now you have to choose correct board. For example, if you're using Pro Mini, choose Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, if you're using uh, Uno, choose Uno board in board setting menu. Set the correct port for USB to TTL converter and press to upload the code. As you see, it's uploading the code. So the code is uploaded successfully. You can disconnect this board from computer. If you're updating your Arduino based EVSA, like I do in this video, please disconnect EVSA from power source. Now you have to connect this newly programmed Arduino board to your second Arduino board, which we want to update with new bootloader. In my case, and uh, I'm connecting it to do it yourself as the board. Here is a diagram of the correct connection. For those who updating do it yourself as the, uh, as you can see, I haven't used 13, 12, and 11 pins on Arduino board. So you don't need to cut or disconnect anything while updating a bootloader. Uh, just sold a few wires to Arduino board as shown in this diagram. I have connected my FZ to Arduino board. Please be aware that this is a prototype board and uh, those who bought do-it-yourself kit will have different boards. So ignore my setup. Double check if you connected everything correctly. Connect your USB to TTL converter to your computer. Uh, open your Arduino software. Now in board setup menu we have to choose Arduino Uno because we want to use a bootloader from Uno board. So make sure you selected Uno and not Pro Mini. Check if you selected correct COM port. Then you must uh, go to programmer settings and choose Arduino as ESP. Once you've done this just press burn bootloader in tools menu. Once it's done, you can disconnect everything. 
now the last thing you must do is to upload your code back to Arduino as bootloader update erases all the data from the microcontroller. If you updating your do it yourself FZ, please download the latest firmware from my website. Now connect your USB to TTL converter to your Arduino board which is we just had a bootloader update. Uh, now when you updating firmware with Arduino software or Xloader software, always choose Uno board in board settings. If you choose Pro Mini, it won't work as your board now has Uno bootloader in it. So please make sure you choose Uno in board settings from now on. So once you have your firmware ready, just press upload. So now I will show you how Watchdog Timer test code works with updated Pro Mini board. Again, once I press this button, it should trigger Watchdog Timer to reset the microcontroller. Let's see what happens. As you see, microcontroller resets itself correctly, so that means Watchdog Timer is working perfectly. Uh, let's do it again. Works perfectly. So if your FZ microcontroller freezes because of a bug in a code or voltage spike in power supply or any other reason, Watchdog Timer in, in theory should take care of this and reset your charging controller, which should successfully continue the charging session. If original Pro Mini bootloader in such case, microcontroller would not reset. So you would find later that your vehicle is not fully charged because FZ is not responsive. Uh, this can be very annoying, uh, especially when vehicle battery has not enough uh, charge to reach desired destination. So I showed you why your Pro Mini board needs to be updated with a new bootloader. Uh, sorry for telling you that you need to do this update on your do-it-yourself FZ. I wasn't aware of this. Pro Mini issue when I origi originally made this project. Updating should not be very complicated, uh, but if you get any problems doing it, please contact me and I will try to help you. Okay, so I think that's it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.